This will be a short build tutorial for a very compact bone or blaze rod EMC farm that can be accessed fairly early on in a playthrough. To start, you will need two energy condensers, four macerators, preferably rotary macerators. It'll work with normal macerators, however, I suggest upgrading to rotary macerators when you're able to because they generate EMC much faster. Four gravity feed transport pipes, two redstone blocks, or two blocks and two levers, one turtle, at least one blaze rod or bone, preferably blaze rod because it'll generate more EMC per maceration, and enough wiring of your choice, carrying at least 64 EU per tick. I'm going to be using glass fiber cables for this build. Start by placing down the first energy condenser and making it so it produces blaze rod or bone. Then place the turtle on top of that. Next, surround the sides of the turtle with macerators. I'm going to be adding transformer upgrades because I'm inputting high voltage current into the macerators. Make sure your input voltage doesn't exceed your machine's maximum acceptable voltage. Once all the macerators are placed, connect the gravity feed transport pipes onto the bottom of the macerators so it feeds into the energy condenser. If you'd like to learn the ins and outs of grav pipes, I'll have a video explaining them in full detail. After that, place the second energy condenser on top of the turtle. If you are using a normal macerator, you can skip this step. Place redstone blocks in between the macerators on opposite sides. If you are using a block and lever, place the block where you would place the redstone block. Place and activate the lever on top of the block. Finally, connect the wires on the other corners of the macerator to provide them with power. With this step, construction is finished. The most complicated part of this build is coding the turtle to move the items around. I'm not an expert at coding with computer craft, and my code might not be the most concise, but it functions, so I use it. My code is going to be in the description, and I'll also type it out step by step right now. To start with coding, we're going to type edit, and then you can pick whatever program name you want. I'm going to call it emcf. We're going to start by typing while true do, and then we're going to hit enter, and then tab for i equals 1 comma 2 do we're gonna hit enter and then tab turtle dot suck down make sure to capitalize the D and close the parenthesis turtle drop close parenthesis turtle dot turn left and then turtle drop. We're gonna hit enter and then backspace, end. Enter, turtle, drop up, turtle, select, and then inside the parenthesis we're gonna put a two and then close it, then turtle, drop up, And then turtle, select, and then inside the parenthesis we're going to put 1. Hit enter, backspace, end. Press control to save, press control again to exit, and then we're going to type in the program that we selected to edit. I chose EMCF. We'll see the turtle starts moving. The turtle will need to have the program reactivated if you leave the server or rejoin your world. The last step is to place the blaze rod or bone into one of the macerators. It will take some time for the system to generate enough blaze rod in order to fill up all of the macerators, but it will eventually. One thing to keep in mind about this build is that a lot of Tekkit Classic multiplayer servers used to ban this method of EMC farm either directly or nerf it with plugins. I can't be 100% certain that this EMC farm will work on all public servers but it'll definitely work in your single player world or on a private server.